So the easiest way to cut a clean bass drum port hole is to heat up a can and melt through the head. So obviously you'll need a can. Now if you don't have a can, you can go to the dollar store and get one for a dollar. You'll also need a source of heat like a blowtorch. Now if you don't have a blowtorch, you can use a toaster oven, a regular oven, or even just the stovetop. And also a pair of pliers or vice grips will make this a whole lot easier. So first open up your can and empty out the contents. So now on the bottom, I'm going to cut a hole just big enough to fit the vice grips through so I can hold on to it. So now I have a little hole that I can fit the vice grips on to hold on to it. So now just the next step is to heat up the can. So if you're using a blowtorch like I am, it's important that you get it heated up evenly. So if you're going to do this on a stove top or in an oven, it'll be a whole lot easier to heat it up evenly. However, if you are going to do this in an oven or on a stove top, just be aware that it might flare up. You might have seen these little flames and that's just the inside coating of the can burning off. So if you're going to do it inside on a stove, then just be aware of that. So one little tip that I can give is that it's a whole lot easier to cut this out when the head is still on the drum. It's a lot easier because there's more tension on the head and also the head is basically floating in the air as opposed to sitting on the ground. So when you actually go to, to plunge the can through the head, the, the ground is not going to act as a heat sink and suck all the heat out of the can and effectively not cut the hole all the way through the head. So what you're watching right now is how not to cut the hole. I did this unintentionally, but the can just wasn't hot enough, so you'll notice it started to cut a little bit, but then it just cooled down too fast and wasn't able to cut all the way through. Wasn't hot enough. So instead of using the blowtorch, I decided to go inside and put it on the stove top and let it sit there a couple minutes, and it was plenty hot after that. So the blowtorch just wasn't hot enough, so I ended up just putting it on the stove top. So I suggest you do that in the first place, because if you try to cut it and it's not hot enough and it cuts it a little bit, then you come back and then do it for real, you'll have the same problem that I had and it won't really be that round. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to do this again and put it right about there. So now that the can is hot enough, you'll see it just plunges straight through, no problem whatsoever in one shot. So you'll see that the circle is still connected to the head, and that's what happens when you don't apply even pressure. And it's not the end of the world if this happens. All you need to do is fold the circle back and then cut along the edge. So most likely there'll be a few little fuzzies here and there, and to get them off, all you need to do is take your razor blade and carefully scrape along the edge. So now, as you can see, this hole is much cleaner than that hole, and it's much more round. So I cannot stress how important it is to get it hot enough on the first go. So now you have a nice clean bass drawn porthole. We'll just Forget about this one for now, and uh, you can fit your mic right up inside, and you're good to go. So just to recap the major points, you want to leave the head on the bass drum, it'll make it a whole lot easier. Second, make sure the can is hot enough or else it'll look like this. And then third, you want to make sure you apply even pressure when melting through the can, or sorry, melting through the head, so that way you don't get the extra little flap hanging on. But other than that, it's really simple and it takes like no time at all to do. And now also on the topic of bass drums, I made these little bass drum beaters. So if you want to support this channel, you can check out the description down below to where you can buy these. But other than that, uh, that's it. Hopefully I could help you in making a bass drum porthole and not have it look like that. But that's it for this one. Thank you for watching.